Hey guys, William from Juni Lion Williams Adventure. And I thought we'd come and make a little short video today about the hidden dangers in the Philippines. No, it's not terrorists. No, guys, it's not pickpockets. No, it's not bombs or anything like that. It's other foreigners, guys. The drama that you can be involved in by associating with the wrong other foreigners, guys. That's what we're going to talk about. The hidden dangers in the Philippines involving other farm, foreigners, guys. We'll be back in a minute, and that's what we're going to talk about. We'll see you then. So, guys, this is William. And so that's what we wanted to talk about today. Talk about the drama that you can get involved with by being involved with the wrong foreigners over here in the Philippines. Now, let me just say this. A lot of times when you get a bunch of seniors together or older gentlemen and they start drinking and they start talking and gossiping and getting in each other's business, it's never a good mixture no matter what country you're living in. But what I'm finding out is that a lot of times the hidden dangers in the Philippines is not from Filipinos, guys. It's not from terrorists. It's not from pickpockets. But in one of the communities that's in one of the islands over in Dumaguete, which we call Dramaguete, there's a whole lot of drama going on between vloggers and two it got to a point at one of the coffee shops in Dumaguete called the Ground Zero that they, a couple guys actually got into a fist fight. Now imagine that guys, over here in the Philippines with all the beautiful beaches and beautiful islands, the beautiful women, most of us that are over 65 or 60 and over, have come over to the Philippines for a quieter, uh, a more peaceful life. Why would I want to get involved in a fist fight with another senior, somebody in my age or older, fighting guys? And we came to a country to get away from that kind of environment or that kind of life, guys. So this is what we're going to talk about, the hidden dangers in the Philippines. And really, from what I find out, a lot of times the hidden dangers are associating with people that you normally wouldn't associate with even if you were in your home country, the USA or Canada. And because we're expats, we don't choose our company as wisely as we probably would have in the US. Uh, there's a certain group of people you probably would have been around. There's probably a certain group of people you probably wouldn't have been around. Because remember guys, character travels. Character travels, remember that. And so if you're hanging around a group of people that character doesn't meet yours, you know what they say. Uh, bad company corrects good morals. So the bottom line is you gotta choose your company wisely, guys. If you're an expat, choose the people that you wanna be around. Make sure that your group is a group that you can connect with. Um, that's not gonna be a group that's going around, sit around with nothing to do all day but gossip uh, and do those kind of things, guys. So remember, you don't want the hidden danger to be other expats, guys. That's not what you want. You didn't come to the Philippines with all the beautiful beaches, with all the beautiful women, with all the beautiful things to do and get involved in a fight, literally a fist fight, with another senior citizen, guys. That's not what you came here for. So let's remember, guys, choose your company wisely. They say if you want to see what somebody's all about, watch who they hang around. Birds of a feather, guys, flock together. So this is the thing we want to talk about. Please feel free to comment. Feel free to say what you think about that subject, guys. The hidden danger in the Philippines. Other, other expats, other foreigners uh, that maybe either they're drinking too much or maybe they just got too much time on their hand, guys. And they get in an argument about this and that and they start, uh, gossip or what they call chica chica here in the Philippines. There's no need for it, guys. There's too many good things to do here in the Philippines. And not only that, guys, it's a bad representation of us expats here in the Philippines. We don't want the Filipino people to think that here these Americans are at or here these foreigners are out fist fighting outside. That's not something we want to be involved in or even known for, is it, guys? So let's, let's, let's use our time wisely. If you're in a relationship, cherish that relationship. Don't go gossiping. And, and talking down each other. There's no need for that over here in the Philippines, guys. So that's what I see as the hidden danger. A lot of times the, the, the fights and things like that happen in bars 
they're among other foreigners. They're not with Filipinos, guys. This one happened to happen in a coffee shop called Ground Zero in Dumaguete. And there's no need for that kind of lifestyle here in the Philippines, guys. So this is William at Junior Lion Williams Adventures. And I want to tell you guys that are coming over either to visit on vacation or be expat. Don't be swayed. Don't be disillusioned by what you're seeing coming out of that community over there in Dumaguete. Most of us expats over here have come to enjoy life, to settle down, to see the beauty of the net natural uh, beauties in the Philippines, to enjoy our, the LDR or the woman that we've married or, or in a relationship with, and just for a more peaceful type of life. So guys, don't let some spoil it for you. Always remember, the same way that you would choose your friends in the country that you came from is the same way that you got to choose your friends when you're an expat. If it's not somebody you would normally hang around in the U.S., then don't hang around them here because you, you're an expat over here, guys. Choose your friends wisely. Birds of a feather flock together. There's no need for drama in the Philippines between other foreigners. Old men with pacemakers fist fighting each other in another country, guys, that's over 8,500 miles away from their home country. Think about it, guys. It's childish to be saying who said what and who did this and fighting somebody if you're over 60, 70 years old in a coffee shop on the other side of the world, guys. Let's remember who we are, what we represent, and the reason that we came here in the first place. This is William at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures. We're heading towards Valentine's Day, and me and Junie Lee will be making a video about that. But until then, remember the hidden dangers, guys. A lot of times it's not terrorists, it's not pickpockets. It's not even health issues. It's other foreigners that get involved in too much gossip and have too much time and end up in disagreements with each other and don't add liquor to that equation and fist fighting. There's no need for it, guys. We'll see you next time. Feel free to comment. Tell me what you think about that. We'll see you next time at Junior Lion Williams Adventures. Till then, enjoy life because every day is tomorrow's not fun.